Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Memorift. Hmm, what do we have here? Is this another crappy built-in model the developer of Memorift is pushing down our throats? But no! This is in fact a custom external model created in Maya and brought over to Memorift. New in Memorift R2, available now for download, is the ability to import any 3D model from popular 3D modeling software exported in the open source Collada format. Once you've exported your masterpiece, simply place the .tae file in the models folder under the files folder. And set your item's model property to point to that file. Memorift R2 also supports pair material texturing and coloring. For instance, this box is assigned a material named Robot Sticker. And simply by placing a PNG file with the same name in the same folder as the .dae file, Memorift will automatically load and place it on the model. We can also override the default textures by placing a different PNG file with the same name in a specific items folder, and Memorift will use it instead. Simply press F2 to reload Memorift without the need to close and reopen it. And we can see our custom texture. Now, we've already had the options to adjust the scale of items in Memorift, but this is especially useful for imported models because of differences between the two environments. Why not have a Super Ultra Megazord robot? Uh, mm, yeah, I guess that wasn't really smart. Oops. Anyway. Memorift allows us to change the color of any material in our model using the item color properties. So we can blend our custom texture with a custom color. Here, in our robot model, we have a material named Robot Red, assigned to several meshes in the model. These correspond to the materials assigned to the model imported into Memorift. We can customize a robot by recoloring that particular material, which will affect all the relevant parts of the robot. Mmm, lovely. Okay, now for the really cool part. Ready? This NES here is connected to the television. Well, PC monitor actually. And that's normal. But Memorift allows us to define a material in our model, naming it screen, all caps, and assign it to any surface in our model, which can then be used as a screen in Memorift. By assigning the connect to property of our NES to connect to our robot instead, and of course reloading using F2, we get a true to life walking television ready to destroy humanity. And of course, we can play some NES games while it does that. So 
So, go ahead and download R2. And if you got the skills, I hope you can create some interesting models, such as a vintage TV or a jukebox, and share them on the memory BBS, linked in the description. And extra points if you post a video of your model inside your memory room. Th 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 thanks for watching, guys!